in the sub queries when we were going through that you observed like the inner query was independent in itself so that it will be executed in first time and whatever value it will return it will be passed to the main query but now we are going for the correlated sub query in correlated sub query the in outer query will obviously be dependent on the inner query but the inner query will be dependent on the outer query as well so let's find out practically how to deal with the correlated sub queries here as you can see i have already written a very basic query which is re retrieving all the data from the table employees and i have sorted that on the basis of salary in descending order so all the data here is sorted on the basis of this salary now if i want to talk about the correlated sub query as here you can see in this example what i am going to do is i am going to find the record associated with the second highest salary uh, but our major motto is to find the difference between the coded subquery and the normal subquery which we have already covered. So here as in the coded subquery you can see this is the main query, the outer query which is aliased by using EMP1. And uh, you can see this outer query is being used here inside the subquery. In the subquery normal subqueries the data which is retrieved from the subquery or the inner query is actually being consumed by the outer query but here both are mutually using each other the outer query that is EMP1 is used here inside this one and obviously here you are passing the subquery after the main query so the result which will be coming from the inner query will be passed to outer query as normal so what actually we are doing here we are finding the second highest salary so uh, what I have done here I have used a group function in our coming videos we are going to cover the group functions in a great detail uh, but here it will simply count all the employee salary alright as the name says count it will count the salaries of which records whose EMP2 salary means the inner query this one is EMP2 salary is greater than or equal to EMP1 salary now what will happen only two records means the only one record would be there which would be greater than or equal to the this salary alright that is the EMP1 dot salary what will happen each row from the outer query will be sent to the inner query as it is using first row of this outer query would be sent inside this one alright so what this sub query will do it will count all the salaries which is greater than or equal to this one so when this outer query would be retrieving the second record only in that particular situation means this is one EMP alright so when this particular record is pointing this row number two what will happen the count of EMP2 dot salary would be equal to 2 why because as you can see the operator one record that is this one is equal to and this one is greater than EMP1 dot salary when this outer query is pointing row number 2 as I am repeating again and again so in that particular situation this record will be true means the condition will be true as we, what is the condition where 2 is equal to this one alright so as soon as this outer query will point the second record this condition will become true and it will get printed none of the other record will match this condition so only one record will be there in the output on interview basis it's again a very important question of finding the second highest salary but uh, you can do the same thing in a different ways also this is one of the ways but our motto here is to understand the correlated subquery which we try to understand like the outer query EMP1 is used in the inner query and the result of inner query is matched by the outer query so this is about the correlated subqueries